Hello everyone. I am Dr. Ahan Shah. Uh, um, I've cleared all of my steps of uh, FICO during my residency and uh, three steps out of the four steps of FRCO exam during my residency. Good evening everyone. Um, thank you for the wonderful response on the previous video. And uh, in today's video, we'll be discussing about uh, the how. So we'll discuss the why. Why should uh, I give the FICO exam? Why should I give the FRCO exam? We know all at the middle of residency, we have a lot of work with that and so many resources available through the internet. What to choose, what to read and how to read. So that that is a common dilemma and I'm here to solve that. So let's go step by step and see how things work out. So first of all, um, I want you to focus on reading for uh, fellowship exams diligently. I want you to read specific resources because that is what smart work is and that is how we can uh, say the exam together. So uh, what uh, is a very ideal plan? What is something that I implemented and I got um, lucky enough seven times continuously through all the seven exams is what we'll be discussing today. In my fourth semester, that is uh, the second half of second year, in January, I registered for uh, the FICO uh, Part A and B, that is Basic Sciences and Optics, and uh, FRCO Part 1, uh, so that is the Part 1 written exam. Similar syllabus, Basic Sciences and Optics. Now, how to go on with that? Uh, basic Sciences, a very standard textbook for uh, FRCO is uh, John Ferris's Self-Assessment Text. John Ferris's self-assessment uh, text. I can't emphasize how important that is. Please go through that. I'll attach a copy of that in a drive and uh, you can use it. It will be available in the uh, links and description below. I solved it once and uh, even that took me a lot uh, of time. It took me, I think, 20 to 25 days. It is a voluminous book, but mind you, that is very helpful. That is how the questions will be asked to you in the FRCO exam, which is slightly tougher than the FICO exam. That along with parallel reading of important topics will take care of basic sciences. Now coming to optics, what I'd suggest is uh, please have a read on this book that is Elkington. Elkington's uh, Clinical Optics again is uh, a book which is ba backed by the FRCO faculties and uh, going through that takes care of theoretical optics only if you understand it. So how to go on with understanding it is by active recall. Active recall can be elicited by Chua's Optics, again the books whatever i'm saying in this video i am giving to you free of charge it is available in google drive and you can find it in the links below so chua's optics for active recall for optic uh, optics related mcqs and uh, you will remember that you have come across across it in elkington's which is what i felt however i did not see this connection so that helps you build concepts then go back and read elkington's again once you finish chua's optics so that takes care of your first step all the best. Now you are good to go for FICO and FRCO's first same syllabus together. Like, share and subscribe if you can because that helps me a lot. That makes my effort worthwhile. And I wish you, I sincerely wish that whoever is watching the video, whoever is planning for this exams uh, uh, does clear that. And uh, do let me know in comments, do let me know um, in DMs uh, by whatever means. If you need any further help, I'll be there for you.